So far, you've learned about gas laws, and you will have noticed that we always have one thing constant at a point. So now you may be wondering, what else? Here in Avogadro's law, we're holding two things constant. They are pressure and temperature. You may ask yourself, if we keep the pressure and temperature constant, what then do we vary with the volume? Well, you probably have heard the term number of moles before. Yeah, that's what we're varying our volume with. So let's state Avogadro's law before we proceed. Avogadro's law states that at constant pressure and temperature, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of that gas. You can call the number of moles amount. Now, we know what Avogadro's law entails. For an ideal gas, if the amount of gas in the container is increased, the volume increases. If the amount of gas in the container is decreased, the volume decreases as well. And this will only happen if the pressure and the temperature is kept constant. This amount, which is measured in moles, can be denoted with a small letter N. You can see the formula above, that V1 divided by N1 is equal to V2 divided by N2. Let's dive into our animation to understand this a bit more, shall we? Firstly, there is a container with a movable piston, which allows us to vary our volume. Next, we see our thermometer, which measures the temperature, and the barometer, which measures the pressure. Finally, we have one more thing that looks a bit unfamiliar. It's our gas cylinder. It will help us pump in more gas particles inside the container. What Avogadro's law is saying is that when the amount of gas particles increases, so does the volume. Let's try counting the number of particles inside the container initially. If you counted five, then yes, you are right. So, our amount is going to be five moles, and the initial volume there is 1,000 liters. Let's put on our gas cylinder and watch what happens to the particles as well as the volume and try counting how many particles enters the container. If you counted five again, yes, you are right. And as you can see, the volume of the gas increased to 2000 liters. So as the number of particles doubled, so did the total volume double also. Play around with different values in the formula above to know what happens at any given instance. Remember, the pressure and temperature remain constant. You will therefore notice that at any given time, that the values on the thermometer and barometer never changed. Avogadro's principle is easily observed in everyday life. Well, let me give you one of the real life applications. When you blow up a balloon, you are literally forcing the air from your mouth inside the balloon. In other words, you are feeling more moles of air in the balloon, causing it to expand. 